greetings to all the kingdom citizens. Amen. Is it all right? Can I greet like that? I'm going to want to go to the children, to the mothers, to the wife. Well, I've been giving us there's a time frame, so I have to, to run and, and I trust God to help us. Uh, I, I just want to acknowledge Pastor Andrew and Pastor, Pastor Virgie. Uh, only the, new, the people that are the, the next to her can call her Gina, not Anna. Only Pastor Andrew and myself. So I want to thank you guys for the awesome work here, man. Wow. May God bless you guys further. And uh, I was asking myself, uh, am I at the right church? Am I the right speaker this morning? Everything looks so all right. <laughs> so, but we're going to continue. We're going to pray. And uh, what a word. Oh, I, lo I, I, I love sowing and reaping. I, as I said on Thursday night, we trust God. It's the end time. Transference of wealth is coming to the church. Do you oh, that's, that's awesome. It's nothing to do with the love of money. The love of money is evil. But this is a promise. There's, there's going to be an end time wealth. But only for those, for those who please God. <clears throat> those who understand why God is blessing us. He blessed us so that we can become a blessing. What I'm saying here, I want to declare it. That God is raising up kingdom finances. When, when the man of God trusts God for a project, we're not going to run around. I say the millionaires are going to rise up. And they're going to come with joy. I believe that and I can sense in the spirit. You also believe it. We were not here on Thursday night because I'm going to continue. I love that way. I continue. Just continue with the assignment. That's, that's the assignment this morning. We were not here on Thursday. Don't be shy. I'm not going to say anything. I, I just I see a lot of hands. Then, 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 then I'm going to try to help you to understand this assignment. Pastor Andrew and leadership. I've, I've been digging and trusting God to help us, to help me. But you have touched on a, a time bomb. If this thing can be executed accurately, there's going to be an explosion of a revival. I, I, when I was searching and I'm looking at this thing, I discovered that day. This is the language of the kingdom. And by saying that, we start with Genesis chapter 1, verse 28, 26. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. We discovered on Thursday that the only way that we're going to get God to come down is by agreement amongst us. One voice where there is harmony, where there is unity, unison. God will come down. And who desired this morning for God to come and visit us? I, I, my desire is for God to visit us like never before. And then when Pastor Virgil will help me and many of the old gods, the Pentecostal people who are here that we used to, we were still young, but we, we experienced the visitation of God like never before. But listen to this. But the latter rain, the latter glory, the latter visitation is going to be greater than the former rain. And that's what's going to happen. I'm, I'm, I'm an end time guy now. I believe God is raising up end time people. I, 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 I'm absolutely with expectation. So we discovered that God can only be brought down. The visitation can be triggered only by agreement. We also discovered that God will also cause a breakthrough. And what we saw on Thursday was a financial breakthrough. 
only by agreement. I'm going to, with the help of the Holy Spirit to help us get this. And I'm going to take this to our own ministry. This is something new. There's a lot of discoveries. But listen to this very interesting Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Then God said, let us. The language of the kingdom, let us. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us make man in our own image. According to our likeness. Not physical. But a spiritual personality. And moral likeness. And let them have. Can you tell your neighbor them? Can you tell your neighbor let us? We come in there. And let them have complete authority. Your adult translation said dominion. Rulership. So we can only have or experience this complete authority if we are in agreement. So these words, you can hear the words, the language of the kingdom is us, our, our, not your and main and yours and mine, no. Here in the kingdom, the language of the kingdom is about us. It's about our. Amen. God speaks as the creator, king. Announcing his crowning works to the members of his heavenly court. So before God could create that you and me, there was consultation. He could not do it alone. He, he called his court. And the court was the Son and the Holy Spirit. And he said, Let us great man so the creation of man was preceded by a divine consultation so the pronouns us and our proclaim the consultation held by the three persons of the divine trinity who were one in the creative work we are building, uh, we're going somewhere. But I can sense many of you are already catching. This is, this, this is powerful, church. I'm telling you, this is powerful. What you see here now and what you see wherever is just a glimpse of what God is about to do in our communities, in our lives. So, Genesis 1, verse 27. So, God created man in his own image. Tell your neighbor image. In the image of God, He created them male and female. Male and female. Two people. God works with a group. God works with the union. So He created the female and the male and the female. So he created them. So there's two of them. Tell your neighbor two. Verse 25 said, Then God blessed them. That's two. God blessed them. Blessings only come when there's two. Psalms 133. How good it is for the brethren to dwell in unity. There is where God blessed. And when we talk about bless, we don't talk about finances only. When God bless, He bless. Physically, financially, emotionally, spiritually, everything God bless. So be, and then, and then, and then, uh, and then he add, he said, in this communion, this unity, He bless them with what? He said, let them be fruitful. When there is agreement, there will be fruitfulness. 
And he said, let them multiply. So where there is agreement, there will be multiplication. Ah, I will be church. Ah, I'm telling you, God is going to help us. Let them fall the earth and subdue it. They have dominion. God created man to be his kingdom agent. Tell your neighbor you are God's agent. This is someone next one. You are an agent of the God of the kingdom of God. Tell your neighbor. You are not only not just an agent, but you are here to rule. With power, with dominion, with authority. You are here to rule. We are going to rule our streets. We're going to rule our schools. We're going to rule our communities, not by physical things, but in the spiritual realm. And we're going to subdue the rest of creation, including aggressive satanic forces. When there is agreement, every knee has to bow. Every tongue has to confess that he is Lord. We are coming there. We are coming there. Are you still all right? So God proceeded to create man in his own image. Tell him they were image. And thus, all important beginning was pointed. Scripture highlights a particular act called expect of man's nature. Tell your neighbor nature. See, there's something that happened in the upper room. But I'm not allowed to say it now. Even in our ministry, I was busy with a series. But there's something that happened in the upper room. We all we have this Pentecostal experience. The baptism of the Holy Spirit. But something beyond speaking in tongues happened there. And it, and, and it is to do with nature. So man's nature, namely that which corresponds to the social community aspect of God's nature. So this nature of man must correspond with the nature of God. So God creates man as male and female. Not a solitary individual. I have heard examples in the past. In the Pentecostal. They must fellowship. There must be fellowship. Amen. Amen. Always must fellowship. Because when you take out the hot coal. One side. What's going to happen to that coal? It's going to die. But the point is. When God created man he created man female and male god did not create a solitary individual but two people god created two people tell your neighbor two people yet as we read on we discover that the two nevertheless became one Genesis 2 verse 24 two people but they became one but the point is that we're pushing here the agenda of God is God never created a solitary individual because God knew he understood the way the kingdom operates the kingdom is only active where two agree on this earth it shall be like that in heaven. You know, I was praying, I was meditating on this word since Thursday. And as I came to El Arado Park, I pray always. When I'm driving alone, especially, I, I pray, I pray. Then suddenly it hits me. You see, you see now, there's nobody to agree with you. You see, my wife is not here, unfortunately. She attended a funeral in Harsvarta. But you know, that, that need, somebody need to agree with me. 
because we're too agree on this earth it shall be like that in heaven hallelujah hallelujah I believe in corporate prayer we also understood the fight against the church the devil confused is causing confusion in the church you know why he don't want us to understand each other because the devil knows what's happening in the spirit when we are in agreement so he so nevertheless they became one and you're gonna see this man I'm telling you we are going to I, 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 I chopped that we told myself I'm preaching it in, in, in my weddings I thought it's only for that but Lord help us so in Genesis 2 verse 18 the Lord said it is not good that the man should be alone tell your neighbor it's not good for you to be alone I said ah, mom, will he, will he, will he? don't be in the flesh I will give you a revelation here <laughs> no, 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 I don't blame you myself. I was part of that. Amen. I, I preached this thing that, that it was only for the marriage or a couple of a relationship, boyfriend and girlfriend, but this is something extraordinary, just something powerful. And the Lord said that a man is not good for him to be alone. I will make him a helper. That come the of First time I suck. God said, I will make him a helper. So when, and God brought her to the man. Actually, with the bruise, what can you get us? Fuck, let her be here. God will bring her to you. Ah, there's some young guys don't want to hear that. I said, I'll give you a revelation for this thing to, to move fast now. Is for you to wait in the presence of the Lord. God will bring her to you. And when God brings her, she will be comparable. She will be suitable. She will comprehend you. Oh, okay. So this is what God is doing in the church. When God adds members to a church, He's bringing helpers. I say God is bringing helpers. I say I don't want church members no more. I don't want church members. I want workers. I want helpers. So God's going to bring them in. I declare it over you. God's going to bring them in. Help us, and we experience a glimpse. Elder Moise, you with me, is my right hand man. You will hear the testimony, Pastor Andrew will understand why this man, many pastors come and preach today. They say, Who come so fair? But I have to do something out of this word. There's a purpose, there's a reason why we'll travel so far for more than 20 years. 25. They don't say Yara. 25. <laughs> so I understood why you are so close and so loyal to me. I understood. It's a journey of experience. It's a journey of the ministry. That I guess I can, I will tell you the truth. It's not something negative, but I'm, I'm not even excited for. For a lot of things, a lot of people, or whatever, I need helpers. If we can have 12 helpers, we will turn El Raro Park upside down. 12 men with agreement in unison. So God said, The people listen to me, leaders of this church. When God's gonna send people, they are going to be suitable, Gina. They are going to be comparable. They are going to understand the heartbeat of God and His set man without questions. Agreement. Come on, tell your neighbor. Agreement. The 
can end up saying, do you hear what Pastor Andrew's going to say now? When you come in as a new convert, new members, he says, you are bone of my bone. You are flesh of my flesh. You are bone of my bone. You are flesh of my flesh. The hard word Pastor Andrew can say when you walk in here and you are sent by God and God brought you here, I can say, I click. And when these helpers come in here, Pastor Andrew just check the characteristics. I experienced the clubs, all the clubs. Man, I was predicting only the remark. These guys are going to walk in. They're going to walk in and say, Pastor. We didn't come here to fall a building. We came here to work. We came here to help you. Come on, judge. Come on, judge. You want the statement said that community, that community, that union of, of male and female, that reflects God's image. So when God look at the group of people in agreement, the image of God is reflected. So God, the people outside the atheists don't need to challenge us. They want evidence. But when we see each other here in this house, when we are together, we love to we love each other, we care about each other, we pray together, we stay behind our pastor. They see the image. Of God be reflected. They see God in operation. So this woman, God brought her. And in verse 24, he said that the husband will leave the father, the mother, he will leave his family. And he said, and be joined to his wife. And I wrote in brackets. That's why I get it now where I was busy. They will join. They will leave the new converts, the new members. They will leave Egypt. They will leave the world. And they will come and join with the pastor, with the set man. I said, with the set man. Oh, I'm a front runner of pastors, I'm telling you. I can teach you a whole year about pastors, honoring your pastor, respect your pastor. I don't say worship, honor him, respect him. There's blessings in that. So, but this community that reflects God's image is a special community. The community of a man and a woman. When God chose to create man in his own image, he created a marriage. So what's happening in life? I know it's quite, but God is going to help us. This group of people, people here, PG, am I? Eh? Is that the name of the church? You are a group of people here. This is a marriage. You came to join this couple because Pastor Virgie is one with Pastor Andrew. You came to join them with them. And you came with your skills, your talents, and everything that you have, your substance. You came with your finances, came with your success. You came with it and you joined them. You understand that? So what happened is you became a marriage. By the word that you will understand, we became a family. I couldn't understand this thing when I started. He knows that. I said, I don't. But if you, I don't know, it was there that time. Maybe if you will pick up something of me, especially I've changed a lot radically because of the journey in this ministry. I came to a place that I will not, I'm not building a church. I'm building a family. Listen to this, Pastor Andrew. Some will leave us, but those who left our ministry came back crying. They say they are missing the family atmosphere. This is not a religion. This is not an organization. 
The Ecclesia is a life. It's a family. It's a marriage. Hallelujah. So the community of the family is a reflection of the community. Is a reflection of the community in the Godhead. It's a divine thing. So what we do here together and what we, whatever we do in here, we are reflected to the community of El Rado Park, of Ennedale, Nurkasa, wherever. We are reflecting the image of God. Church, we are reflecting the image of God. How will they know, John asked, how will they know that we are the disciples of God of Christ? He said, when we love one another, when we take care of one another, So the, the, the main point is when we are together, may, may, may it go into your spirit, not in your head only, but in your spirit. When we come together, remember this, we are a community that reflects the image of God. Why is that so important? In that image of God, there is not you and me and yours, no. There is let us. There is togetherness. Closeness. Intimacy. They will, and, and if they get married to us, they will never leave us so easily. That's why I come to understand also when people come to my church for a few weeks, they disappear. I go with us. They were never meant. Are you alright? Are you alright, guys? Can I go on, guys? Do I have your permission, guys? Do I have your acceptance, guys? 